Yeah. Hi, Fuzzy. Hello, Paige. Uh, we're here today with Sarah Gronewagen. Um, she just came here from class. Sarah, how's your day been so far? It's been great. I mean, I love class and I love rain, so, and I love Starbucks. <laughs> so it's been great. She's here with her tea, um, ready to go. So we're gonna get the show on the road. Tell us a little bit about your experience at the Pan American Games this summer in Toronto. Yeah, I mean, the Pan Ams were awesome, um, especially because we got to host. Uh, Canada hadn't won in, I think it was like 40 years, almost 40 years, so um, it was really cool to be able to win that on home soil. And um, I actually got to grow into my role a bit this summer. Like last year, I didn't pitch as much. I didn't have a, as big of a role as I did this year. So I think that it was cool to um, just grow into my role on the team and experience the Pan Ams. It was great. And to win them. And to win them, yes. And to pitch the championship game. And to pitch the championship game. Was that cool too? Oh, yes. um, I'm going to be honest. I did go in your room last night. Um, I did take your gold medal. And I did bring it here today for you to wear, so I'm gonna go get that really quick. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll just have you put that on really quick here. That's good. It has your name on it. <laughs> Do you feel a little bit more like yourself now that you have that on? Yeah, I think I feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay. <laughs> With my gold medal just around my neck. Yeah. Who of your teammates would win in an arm wrestling tournament besides me? Well, me. Okay. But besides me, I think Wenner would win that competition. She's a man, so. <laughs> Hands down, she'd win. What is one thing that you cannot live without? Well, literally, I could not live without my insulin pump. <laughs> uh, what's the story behind that? Okay, this is my uh, nice little injection site we got going on. Um, story? Yeah. I was diagnosed when I was nine. Type 1 diabetic, not type 2. Um, but seriously, I got diagnosed when I was nine, and um, I don't know, it's just I've been able to live through it and play sports with it. My older sister has it too, so. And your insulin pump makes that possible and makes it easier for you. Yeah. If you could go on vacation with one of our coaches, who would it be and why? I think Coach Ritter would be a good option for fun and adventure, but with her luck, I don't think that would be a good choice. So I think I'd go with Coach Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> who do you look up to most in life and why? I think I look up to my parents, but mostly my dad, mainly because he has been my rock through my life and he actually coached me for I think five or six years in softball so we're really close and um, yeah he's a great guy. He's the man. Yeah he is. He is the man. I am the man but he is <laughs> yeah, he's the <laughs> step man. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you take your medal back home with you. Uh, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you had a good time. I did. Thank you for having me. I love this medal. <laughs> I'll cherish it forever. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs>